Hi, third grade. Today we're gonna to continue to work on our solar system art. Some of you are still drawing, and I really do hope today that you get these, all these parts finished, and you get them glued down on your paper. Um, so color them in really nicely, get them glued, cut out, and then glued onto your paper. I'm gonna go over the next step for those that are ready. After you've glued them down onto your paper in whatever arrangement you'd like, and it is okay that after you glue them down, you decide, oh, I really want another planet here, or maybe, you know, I want a little, like I have this rocket here, so maybe I want another little mini rocket. And you can do that, that is a great idea. But after you're all done with that, the next thing you'll have to do is add stars. Now, I wanna to talk to you about variety. Please don't make all of your stars the same, <clears throat> make them different, and here's what I mean. You will get to use a white colored pencil or a white crayon, and I suggest that you do because it shows up really nicely on the black paper. And when else do we get to use white? So let's say I really just wanted to do um, like dots for stars. That's okay. But when I'm talking about having a variety of stars, look at how when I put all the dots and they're all the same size, if I filled my paper that way, it would be pretty boring. <clears throat> so one thing you'd want to do have a variety. Maybe you have some that are small, some that are medium, maybe another small one, maybe a really big one. Now all of a sudden, because you just changed the size of your stars, even though they're just dots, they're just circles, your picture is going to look a lot more interesting. So let's flip this back over. And you can see here, I did just that. I have some bigger ones, some smaller ones, and it looks a lot more interesting. Other types of stars you can do, and this is your preference. You could do um, these fun stars where you like make an A and then you bring it up, okay, across and back down and you connect them. You can have these stars and you can leave them open like this or color them in. These would be fantastic. Again, if you're just using these kinds of stars and you need to have a variety, change the size. So we can have big ones and small ones. Um, another kind of star you can have is what I had on the other side, which you make an X and then you put a T inside the X. These stars are pretty easy for anyone who doesn't like these or doesn't know how to make them because these are pretty challenging, but these are always good. Okay, so now you have three different kinds of stars. Another type of star you can have um, is like a long sort of lowercase T but then you can put an X on it. That's always a really good one too. So they're similar, but a little different. And then I've even had students use, um, this one's always hard for me to draw. It's kind of like three triangles. Um, like, so you'd have to imagine that these are the triangles all like kitty cornered to each other. And then one big one at the bottom, kind of like that. And then you usually just color it in. So that's an option too. Okay, so the only thing I've talked about with variety is types of stars and changing the size. However, you could use all these kinds and just have a variety of different types of stars. So variety, you have var variety by having different types of stars, changing the style of stars, or sizes of stars. So as long as you're changing the types of the sizes, it'll look like you have a variety. And you can see here, I only use two types of stars, but because I have all different sizes, it worked well. <clears throat> Don't cover your whole paper with a bunch of stars. Spread them out, make them look nice. Um, I could even add more if I wanted, just because I don't have too many, but don't go overboard on it. And then the last thing you need to do when you're done with that, because you're not done yet, is you need to write two full sentences Um, about your artwork. So one thing I could say is, hmm, like my middle blue planet, my middle blue planet is called 
um, ice bog planet. Made that up. Um, and then another full sentence I could do is, um, maybe you wanna write about like what the universe is called or what other planets are called. Or maybe I say, my rocket is full of explorers. I spelled that wrong, explorers. If you spell anything wrong using white, just cross it up like that. Okay, so two full sentences. So you can also say things like, my favorite planet is, or I really wish I could go here, um, you know, or you could even just say things about the artwork. Like, I really like the way my rocket turned out and I really like how I colored in this one planet. Just make sure they're two full sentences. Then when you're done, take a picture of the front, take a picture of the back, and don't worry too much about spelling. If you misspell something, it's not a big deal. Um, take a picture of the front and back and please post them onto Seesaw. Make sure that when you're taking pictures, boys and girls, you like line your Seesaw frame with the artwork frame so that way you're not taking pictures where there's like all the stuff in the background um so there you have it that's what we're doing next i hope you guys have a great time and i hope to see you soon bye